Here we go. There's a bee. Whoop. Um, the sun is out and it's warm, and a lot of the snow is melting. And you can see the bees are out for a drink. Where is it? Oh, there it is. So they're just getting a drink of water. It's kind of cool. But there's a bee. Hold on, where is it? There it is. Boop. See, come on, focus. I'm trying to get it to focus, but it's not focusing. Anyway, so we got a lot of bees hanging out. Just coming out for a drink. Let's see if I can get the bee to walk on me. The bees are friendly this time of year, too. They're friendly most of the time. Anywho, so the snow is melting and, there are, and it's bright and the sun is reflecting off that snow and that sort of triggers the cleansing flight instinct and you can see these all, all these these little yellow brownish polka dots in the snow. That's poop. Let's see what's going on. I have no protective gear. Oh, come on, buddy. And uh, so the bees are looking for some place to land too that's warm. So they'll land on your hands. Oh, I can hear them. Huh. Ooh, there's lots of bees today. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay, this is definitely the most activity I've seen from the bees this year, for sure. Absolutely, 100%. This is great. <clears throat> but the snow is still deep and I'm still falling in the snow. Check it out, man. This is great. So they're all coming out for cleansing flights. And it's nice and warm. But a lot of these bees haven't been outside for a while. And you can see, just to give other bees a, a sense of where to come home to, you see these bees, hold on. There's, some of them are scenting, and they're giving off a scent, which is unique to, the, to this particular hive or colony. And uh, so that's all these other bees are just sort of floating around, know that, oh, this is where we got to come back. This is, this is home. Um, looking great. Check it out. So I think all of my colonies, I was just looking at them the other day, and they're all in pretty good shape. I'm not going to pop open a hive, I don't think, today. Because, like, hey, this is a pretty good show without it. But um, let's see if I can stick my hand in and not get stung. There we go. There we go. <clears throat> yeah, they're totally... Totally gentle right now. I, I'm gonna try to scoop them up. I got bees landing in my head. <laughs> there we go. Anyhow, so this is a whoop, whoop, whoop. Yeah, this thing with this phone, when it's whatever's going on when you're recording, it won't. It once it it sticks to the same focus, so I can't. This is this is as good as the focus is gonna get. I can't get in there, right? I can't get in close. I'll try to. Let's see. No, let's see, it won't focus. Oh, kind of, maybe. Ah, well, whatever. Woo! <clears throat> so I got bees landing all over me now. They're in my head. See, are they in my head? Yeah, they're in my hair, probably. <clears throat> let's check out this one. So these guys, are. this is the same thing I was talking about. Man, it's really hard to do this. Do you see the same thing? Got the butts in the air? There we go. Right there. That one right there. It's sort of... Right now it's dead center. Oh, I got a bee crawling out my neck. Anyway, those bees are scenting. This one is... You can see these bees sent down there scenting. Right there. That one right there. Actually, I can't see what I'm doing. Hold on. Oh, uh, that one's sort of scenting. Let's get a good one. Well, anyway, they're all scenting. They're doing their thing. And so they're all over here, too. This is... This looks like crazy beans. But, uh... They're, um... They're landing up here because this is warm. It's, it's, it's sort of a dark pink mm -hmm. and the sun is coming down and they're just getting out and all the poop is falling down everywhere and I've got bees crawling everywhere on me. Look. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah. So the, the bees are all landing up there and they're just sort of, you know, milling about. They're stretching their wings for the, probably for some of them for the first time this year. And they're just, you know, they're just hanging out and relaxing and just doing what bees do. And some of them are getting stuck in my little bee shed here, which is too bad. Because they're going to get stuck in there now. I, get, I need to fix that. But anyway, um, oh, and they got poop on me already. I'm going to have a lot of poop on me today. <clears throat> and if these bees are smart, they'll start, like, really, oh, 
Jeez, I got bees crawling right down my neck. Um, if these bees are smart too, they'll start clearing out all the dead bees that have died over the over the winter, and you'll see them just picking up a like a dead bee like this and just flying away with them and going poop and then dump them in the snow far away from the hives. That's what they do. They keep everything that's uh, unhealthy, like dead or diseased bees, and they keep them away from the hive so that you know they create a circuit breaker to prevent the spread of the viruses and all that good stuff. See, there are a lot of same thing going on here. Man, I just try not to fall on my face in the snow. Anyway, right, see, see this is all, right, oh, hold on, now they stopped. Okay, that one's scenting. Anyway, whatever, they're all doing good. They're everywhere. This is definitely, whoop, this is definitely the most I've seen this year. And it's all good stuff. Like, this is good, this is really good. There's not a lot of poop coming out of the um, entrances of the hive, so they're not sick, they're not so filled with poop that they can't hold it in any longer. They're not, there's, there's no dysentery or nosema kind of uh, signs coming, showing up. So, uh, and dysentery is basically you got diarrhea. And, and what happens is they, their guts get so full of just, they haven't been able to poop so long that their, their guts just get so full of the, the poop that it makes them sick, more or less. Uh, oh, oh yeah, and, the, and it smells like poop too. <laughs> oh, dude, these guys are giving off some some bee farts. Anyway, let's see. I'm just gonna put it in right here. Oh yeah, and you can also a great way to to, uh, to see how many bees are actually flying in in and out of a hive. Let's see if I can do it. Uh, yeah, I'll just use my finger. I'll block up the entrance. Hopefully they're not gonna. This is a good way to get stung. No, it's not gonna work. I don't wanna do that. And the thing with this, you, you got bees crawling all over and you're, and you're gonna be, you know, oh my God, you know, you're freaking out. But really, they're not, they're not trying to, they're not, they have no reason to sting me now. I'm not threatening them. I'm not threatening their queen. I'm not threatening, I'm not tearing the hive apart and, and seeing what's going on inside. When, once you tear the hot, whew, really big stink of farts right there. It's only when they're, uh, it's only when you're doing something, farting around with them and getting in their way and doing stuff with them that you don't want them to do, that they, uh, that they, they'll, they'll try to be defensive and go, go in for the sting. So, anyhow, that's about it. There's really not much to see here. Lots of, uh, lots of poop on the floor. I mean, in the snow. And this is the one hive too that I didn't put on a, any bottom mesh at all this year. Um, basically I got lazy. It was by the time uh, winter rolled around and I had time to put on a mesh, I didn't, uh, I just got lazy, I didn't do it. And, it, and it. and this got filled up with snow and I thought, okay, no shoes are gonna get in there and it looks like I did okay. So, you know, the quarter inch mesh isn't absolutely uh, necessary in every situation, but, well, look at all the same thing going on there. But uh, once you've had shrews to decimate your hives, then you're going to definitely go with the quarter inch. Which is what I did. Um, what can I do that would be fun to watch on video here? Besides bees flying into my face. I got bees flying into my face. They're just bop bopping off my head all over the place. But anyway, these bees are looking great. Uh, really healthy. Um, you can tell they're, they're healthy. At least I can tell they're healthy. They're, they're, they're active. They're moving. They're... Um, they're not sluggish, you know? Um, this one has actually got pooped on. <laughs> uh, and uh, yeah, they're just, they're looking good. Everything's looking great. The only thing with this thing, with the bees hanging out on this, on the side of the shed, uh, is that they, um, can I zoom in when I'm doing this? Man, does it ever stink. And I have to do something about this. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do it right now. Hold on a sec. I don't want those bees to get stuck behind this this mesh, so I'm just gonna pull it off. There, I'll fix it later. And there's my uh, messy, super duper messy bee shed. <laughs> I just throw it on the ground, and I'll deal with it in the spring. Um, anyway, yeah, sometimes it gets so cold suddenly that the bees get stuck out uh, on the side of the shed, and they basically die. But uh, anyway. Uh, I can't think of anything else to talk about. 
These bees are in really good shape. This is the big massive cleansing flight. There's going to be poop all over the place. Um, when they first came out for some serious cleansing flights about a week ago, there was a lot of dead, more dead bees in the snow. But uh, uh, these, these bees are great. They're all healthy. That, uh, that one isn't as active as I expected it to be, but it also might be because the sun and the, the way the sun comes into this little bee yard I've got here, um, these hives here get hit, get hit first. And then later in the day, that one gets the brunt of the sun going down. And it, that's when it becomes more active. Anyway, so that's it. Uh, kind of fun. Just thinking, could I open up a hive? No, I'm not going to do that. If I did, you'd see tons and tons of bees. And But they're doing their thing. I don't want to mess with them. Uh, I just want them to just, you know, relax. And uh, it's all good. But uh, this is just a test to see if I can do this in the springtime. Like, I'll bring this camera out. And this is just going through my Wi-Fi close to my house. I wouldn't be able to do this elsewhere. But um, I'll do this in the spring, in the summer, when I have uh, full hive inspections that I can do. And I'll just set this camera up on one hive and we'll just go for it. But uh, anyway, here we go. I will bid you adieu. See you later. Hold on. Here's the button. Okay, hold on. I got poop all over my camera.